Um, I love you all. I hope you love each other. It is Valentine's Day. Enjoy it. Love is precious. It's a wonderful thing. Let's get on. I want you to all give it up. A warm, warm welcome for Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc! Clap, you bastards! Clap! Come on up here. Don't mind the thing. Thank you, Nick. And as they say, if you can't dazzle them with brilliance, you can baffle them, baffle them with bullshit. All righty. Uh, poetry for Thursday evening, February 14th, 2008, at the Literary Cafe in Tremont, Ohio. Undetermined stress. Possible culprit, mythological fact, engaged in recollections that seem vague, devoured by the recreation a requiem of reconstituted faith, misleading mortal memory. I pity those who feel no pangs of hope. I pronounce your name as fool. Do you hear me? Do you understand? Or did your mother just forget to abort you? Oh, I am sorry I said that. Would you forgive me? Will you come over to my house to sit and visit? There's a playground close by. Listen to the random words of children. Their heartbeats are real. I hear them. I collect them. I want them. And I want your love as well. Undetermined stress. The bell rings. It's recess. Cold silver February. Tantric heat can't melt the refulgent snow when it belongs to fragments, fragments of recycled imagination, cluttered with stones, suspended, waiting to drop. I hear the guru snowman chant, piercing eyes, fold. In the framework of time, an essence of sad vibrates with bent, provocative fist. One stone drops. A cold, silver February returns to the stall, paralleled with quiet hibernation. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. One times two times three times four, the life of me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Tell the new charm hello. Tell the new hello so long. Gather the remaining stones. Run. Dissimulate a smile. Run, run, run. The trap snaps backward flash. The curse takes its cue. Fast forward, the opposition remains cold and seductive. One times two. Thanks. Y'all look okay? You look great. All right. That's all I'm worried about. Yeah. Right. Joey! Yeah. Red and black, my favorite color. Yeah, well, as you know. I have Valentine cards. Red, black, and them. Irish. Take one and pass it along. Johnny, could you move the mic stand over? Oh, oh, sure. It's distracting. Oh. There we go. That's All very right. nice. Oh, that's right. good. Moonbeam mouth. The hot air come from way down south, and your thirst can never be quenched. The chill that runs up and down your spineless being makes you chatter uncontrollably and it's only a matter of time and your teeth your teeth are like a yellowed picket fence in need of a whitewash a cover up from behind the moon a bandit eyes from the other side masked covered with honey dipped gauze glazed and ready to lick from far below people 
Over there, over here, what they want. Scandal scars. Meanwhile, in Noah's Ark, the silent partner sang during a silent night that lasted forever, and misery loves the company of salvation cradled in sorrow, and sympathy plays its violin again and again, and it really don't matter if the milk should spill, you don't know how to cry, you never did, you never will. What gives? Who's in control? And perhaps Noah should build a new ark. Oh, I'm tired. Too, too tired to argue with you, bad citizen. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty. My eyelashes are getting in the way of my glasses. <laughs> I thought you were just getting moved no, no, like no, I was. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Dead beak. Blood that simmers in the moonlight, afraid of the shadow. The choice between fat lips and tender hips. Alienation? Don't even mention that. However, the solution is not too distant. Getting back to reality, what happened? Our teeth began to bear discontent. The humble, sweet aroma manifests into a cunning black snake, venom increased without even entering. The electronic world stimulates, assimilates caresses. Oh, mighty enigma, panhandlers prod with synaptic fury. What I would give to make you smile and moan again. The sheets are stiff, the bed curdled. The morning dove lost momentum. Time to check the list. The blueprint fades. The password is. That's the password. <laughs> that's a great password. Yeah, that's great. Right. Look at that sound effect. Thank you. Commercial contracts. Commercial contracts for the borderline bourgeois and still breathing potential client. They sip their red drinks in darkness, sweet immortals that they are, sweeping the worried stones off of eternity's candid illusion in combat with the will the way, the want, the way they will do what they want. Please, drop us a line. The suggestion box is over there. And while you're at it, leave us your torso so we can have a look inside to better understand your past on a bend towards the future. And don't forget to sign the dotted line, for there is no tax on an autograph for the recommended reading Quietly destroyed and undisturbed, John Doe will never know what hit him. Last time it was ink, this time it's your blood. Commercial contracts. I'm just going to go in order. Oh, yeah. Static King. In my heaven... Cobalt angels play banjos all day and all night. And wishful thinking forget-me-nots know how to do a Jew's harp in. The gypsies, elegant and elongated, enhance their sex. And by virtue of their own nature, submit to the man, oh man, oh mandolin. Then quickly let go just the same. The fiddle dances alone around in a square, pounding the vapors, and was once upon a time a sailor on leave at shore, experimenting with a candy-coated dame. Oh, I guess this is what liberty calls active duty. Voices from down the corridor, the tunnel of visionaries, blinded by courage, Engaged in faith, 
Or was that blinded by faith, engaged in courage? Sing praise, sing praise, oh can they sing the praise? These brief moments of synchronized asphyxiation, influenced by the second coming of a bootleg explorer, youth do what they want, don't they? And this place can't be discovered again because it was and always will be. So please, please stop your choking. I turn now towards the vanity reflector, engaged in propination. Oh, for if this cup were only filled with poison, I would have died first. I would have died for want of cold, bloody thirst. And I fix my eyes on that image of myself, and I ask myself, what is on your mind? If I tell, will I be ushered out? No, so I begin. I remember my first Holy Communion, and I thought it was my last. But later on in life, as I grew older, I wanted to meet Jesus again. So a friend of mine fixed us up on a blind date. Oh, we had a good time. We laughed, we danced, we drank a lot of wine, and we were going to solve everybody's problems. Funny, he never called me again after that. Oh, Jesus was a sweet thing. My static king. Next time... Next time, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope for the best. Say, don't I know you from someplace? <laughs> I never forget a face. And I never, ever forget a soul. Yeah! Joey! This piece was written for... Masumi. Um, it was uh, included in an art show at the Doubting Thomas, and uh, I call it Distance. Lives canceled. Where is the next checkpoint? Truth not concealed. Fate has a way of revealing how morally undignified the human condition can be. The soothsayer, asleep at the wheel, sang only in his dream, a rhapsody in blue. The mysticism of sound reveals the dilemma, vibrations, a detriment. The outer skin taken to the morgue, their hair follicles begin to decay as the soul voluntarily wanders back into the universe awaiting the nimble nirvana. Please, let your flowers grow and recite with a smile. Destroy all monsters. Hmm. Um, let's see. Okay, this is a one of the great sci-fi flicks of all time. Yeah, Mayday, Mayday. Mothra was. I'm going to try to do Mae West now. Oh. Oh, come on. Chachi loves Joni. Chachi, get out of here. <laughs> Mayday, Mayday. Don't bother coming up and seeing me, because I don't want to be seeing you anytime soon. To lick your self-inflicted wounds in honor of your own betrayal, there was no time to be happy. And words of wisdom infringe upon the testosterone which oozes its lifeless being into your lonely heart portrayal. Please, leave the room. I have no time for stupid sex or chocolate cigars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. that. She got an Academy Award for that one. You know? <laughs> All, right. All right, let's see, I have a sticky. few more. Sticky. Sticky, yeah, it's getting kind of sticky. Okay, sometimes, Sometimes I feel iridized, fumed on the surface, and hollowed from being absolutely too kind. In a remote kingdom, lovers quarrel, 
and they say that her words were so sharp that they cut him deep in a war that made the sheets bleed. And the jester makes no qualms about his privilege, about his ability to mimic, and having made his point, being applauded. Yay! Yay! Once again, it is my turn to pitch the horseshoe, a dead ringer around the neck of that jester. Am I no longer kind? As I am visited by the acid rain and the surface implodes, am I changing? Or am I just washed up? Valentine's Day! Valentine card? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Here's one for you. <laughs> Insane the fucking ritual. Oh, smile for me, drunken mother, godless goddess. Whose theory of relativity are you floating on this time? Just tell them all that you love them. The man with the voice, the man with the beard, the man with the faceless wife. The men who stay boys all their lives. Pluck the guinea pig's whiskers and send the sheep to bed so that they can count your blessings and fall deep into tomorrow's romantic sleep and vow never to return. Anti-balance. All right. Yeah, I'm really a nice person. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mother Alchemy, help me. Since the rebirth of her semi-automatic self-conscious social behavior, she had been desperately trying to conduct business as usual. All this was beginning to take its toll, for the crow's feet began to scratch deeper and deeper, until it reached the abyss of her now corrupt soul, and nothing, nothing could bring her back. Many days pass and still no verdict. She had often felt and acted as though she was on trial. She was, she still is, and of course, she cries for a subliminal essay in the form of a betrayed young woman's confusion. This was a wretched life, she thought, and nothing, nothing could bring her back. All is vanity, all is vanity. All this to satisfy her banal sanity. The curtain rises, the phantom vulture eats her heart, fondles his ego, then breaks once again for lunch, and nothing, nothing could bring her back. Mm. Oh, my funny Valentine, <laughs> oh, you sweet come on. comic Valentine. All right, come on, come on. I'm going to pull out some of the, <laughs> the old chestnuts here. <laughs> If you haven't already. Uh, lightning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're old. Okay. Yeah, I am so old. How old are they? Yeah, they some are. I don't, I don't read as much as some people here. <laughs> so their new repetition is good you in know, poetry. You know, you need to hear them again. When you guys again. start chanting them and like go with me and you know, yeah. it'll flow happen and it'll be great. Right? Yeah. Start over. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. From the beginning! Poetry for Thursday evening, February 14th. Lightning. I can only imagine what lightning feels like. Whipping down on my head. Half past nowhere, a split second till death. Eyes rolling in their socket, praying for rain, but the rain don't fall. You just went insane. And the thunder never came. Caught in the middle in limbo land The devil don't want you And Jesus don't remember your name You're in a fast, paced, motionless Talking to the sergeant about faith 
come a little closer now and let me whisper in your ear. Don't talk to strangers who don't remember your name and lightning does strike twice a pleasureless game. Oh, happy birthday, Saint. Yeah. Hey, I was wondering if there was yeah. anybody. That's what they call a connotation. Oh. Alrighty. Um, in, in your window. <laughs> okay. In your window. I have a couple more. Like a pickle. Like a pickle. Okay. Oh, you know what? You got a pickle. Okay. I'm trying to see what I... Still or good? Are you guys... Uh, this is okay so far? You're pumped. Okay, yeah. you're pumped. Yeah, like it's fat or sweet. Alrighty. I don't know. Maybe... Okay, I'll... I'm in love. I have three more and then we'll see what happens after that. Is Terry not coming? No, no, he's here. He's working patiently. Forced and demented. Mother's honeymooned gown, venom stained, inglorious, and all that I don't care about. The birth of an angry old man with a pitchfork up his ass and a craving for indecent women who flaunt their bellies to Western bureaucrats who suck only diluted gold from unsanitary basins. Oh, let's give credit to where credit is due. Go home, you unsavory old man, and cling fast to your soil stack, and remember to confess your sin. Acting on a hunch, this faunching old war horse eats his morals with a most gracious smile and recycles his memory in the glue factory. Together, we can stick it to them. Watch out for the bombs. Under no obligation shall certain female saints offer sex in order to be taken seriously. This rule applies to all. Don't bite the bait while he bites the bullet. Okay, have a something lovely. Here's something lovely. Loose translations. In another time, in another situation. Beginning to end, you are still my friend, and do you take dictation? Lo and behold, we all get old, so many hold to what they are told. And do you take dictation? Once in a while, I crack a smile during the time of conversation. <laughs> Once in a while, I crack a smile just a loose translation. I pick you up when you are down. I put you up and then you slum around. If a cat's got your tongue, then tell it to go. Tell it to go far away. On the other hand, a baby, baby calf is a tender thing. You give it life, you pull its string. A space cow of the spring. Hold me now, oh tender thing. She's, she's mad! She's mad, I tell you! Alrighty, okay. I am mad. She's completely mad! I need to be a Guinness, my goodness! Give me a Guinness, my goodness! I'm gonna get her a Guinness! I'll get you a Guinness! Alright! Get her a Guinness! Alright, right. okay. right. um, do I have a little more time? A little more? Okay, time to cut it off. Virgil? Okay, this is my, um, my song. My good night song. Is this your grand finale? This is my this is my good night song. Okay. Okay. Good night. I gotta build up for it. Virgil. <laughs> Hurry up with that Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> He's measuring this, this, like this is my this is my Valentine song. Okay. My vacant red heart from a blue catastrophe. Your thoughts blow smoke into my mind. I was punched by a hard nosed shadow. I fall asleep on my trampoline bed. Good night, Virgil. Good night, Virgil, was all I said. You can keep me in your saddle, baby. 
You can keep me close at hand. Good night, virtue was all I said.